YouTube, how getting here? Welcome to my makeup tutorial on Less Is More. Hopefully, hopefully you find it interesting and enjoy. Here we go. Firstly, I start off with my Dream Matte Mousse by Maybelline New York. I never get a darker colour than my own skin. I always get the same colour as my own skin or lighter because it doesn't look natural then. So, let's start with this. I'm going to put a little bit on my hand. I'm going to put it in there. Like so. And start off with my eyes. This is the good thing about using a lighter colour because it doesn't look like you put that much on or look like you're like orange. <laughs> Now I've done my face, I'm going to my neck because I don't like it to look too like contrasting, you know, like from foundation to not. When you're happy with your how it contrasts, then you can move on to the next step. Right, because this is basically just a limited um, make makeup tutor tutorial. There we go. I don't use concealer, but what I do use it, instead of concealer is I use the same as I, what I was using, but instead of using my fingers, I just use a little brush, dab a tiniest of bit, tiniest bit on. Like literally, hardly anything. I'm just get under your eye. Now it doesn't work as well as concealer, but I think it does as good of a job. Now I put on. Basically, it's close it so it don't go all over me. <laughs> if I can't actually close it, it's called Candy Fluff. It's from Lush. Now it isn't actually for your face, but it is for your body. So I haven't used it bad for this, so and it does quite a good job. If you don't have one of these, it's just kind of like a it just comes out the end like a brush. If you don't have one of these, simply get like a cup or something smaller, maybe. Get the tub. Just pour some in. And you can dab it in. If you put too much in, you can always cover it and put it with your other makeup. I really do advise getting these, these are a hell of a lot easier. I, My friend gave me this so I don't actually know where you actually get them from so I'm sorry about that. But continue. <laughs> and make sure you don't <laughs> breathe in through your nose. If you put too much on, just simply rub your face. This is just to cover like blemishes or and give you like a face a little kind of like shine and sparkle. Check if you've got the fair coverage that you want. If you haven't, make sure it's open and keep doing it. And it really smells quite nice actually. So candy fluff. 
from Lush. It's actually a really good place. You can get like loads of bath, bath stuff, I think, mainly. And a lot of cosmetics. It's a good place to go. Now onto the lips. I got these from Avon. I use a sparkly one, but if you want just a normal colour, any lip gloss will do really. Just to kind of like take the the foundation of your lips, just you know, so it doesn't look too poo. Now onto my eyes. I use <clears throat> Rimmel London. Just black, coil, simple. Now I'm sorry if I get this wrong, but I usually am quite focused on the mirror, but this time I'm not, so if you get it wrong, bear with me. the edges just to make just to fill it out so it doesn't look like cut off or uneven. Now onto my other eye. Now to my eyeshadow, I use Claire's Accessories, but you can use any any type of eyeshadow, it doesn't really matter. But I like Claire's Accessories because they give you a multicoloured selection. Um, if you like to just put one colour on your eye, get the same colour, but maybe a darker colour. The darker colour on the top and the lighter on the bottom, but when you're doing multicoloured it doesn't really matter. I'm going to go blue on top, purple on bottom this time. I think I got there without actually getting it on the bottom of my eyes either. But if you ever do get eyeshadow on the bottom of your eyes, use something like a brush, just quickly swipe away. It'll hopefully swipe them off without actually getting mixed in with your face makeup. Now to stop the colours mixing on here, just simply... I'm having quite a roll of my camera cutting off and not recording while I do stuff. So this is why it's kind of like finished and <laughs> done. Um, I'm going to redo the bottom just to show you how I redo the bottom and my eyelashes just to compensate for that. <laughs> now onto the purple, which is already done, so sorry about that. What I do is I just get the purple, just under the eyes. It's a bit difficult to show you with my mascara now on as well. Just the bottom. Now onto the mascara. Just lightly get the top. Hopefully people will believe me that I don't have fake eyelashes now because all, everybody asks me how I get them so long. And even though it didn't actually record while I was actually putting it on, so actually they could say they were fake eyelashes. Hmm. I will prove I do have fake eyelashes one day. I'm 
And this is why I had the armband, well not armband, the thing on the top of my head because the hair just gets in the way constantly. Keep the change, you filthy animal. Oh yeah. And I'm sorry it cut out. I didn't realise so I looked over and I was like I'm trying to record the end and it wasn't recording. I was like, oh, woohoo! Well, I hope that was hopefully helpful. Um, I know it cut out, but I might do another one um, later on in time with when I have different hair. Do a little hair tutorial on that. Um, makeup tutorial on that. Any questions or any tips below? If you want to give me any tips or ask any questions, just comment below. Um, and thanks for that. Thanks for watching YouTube. Hopefully you found that interesting and helpful. If you like these kind of videos, I'm going to be doing a couple more on like hair, makeup and so on. So, so hit the subscribe button. Thanks for watching and hopefully I'll see you soon.